Hi guys and welcome back to Fresh with Penny. Today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be talking you through how to do your skincare routine when you're exercising. So in particular what I'm doing at the moment is I am going to be doing an exercise at home because there are lockdowns again in England, yay. Um, but what I'll be doing is I'll be doing like a cardio slash let's say weight session but I only have very small weights at home. Um, so I'll be doing a sweaty workout, let's call it that. Um, I'll show you my skincare routine um, as to how I do it. And then I will talk you through some other um, exercises as well and how you should be doing a skincare routine at depending on what time you're doing the actual exercise itself. So let's start with me. Um, I am currently, um, it is um, 5.30 in the afternoon so this is an evening session so i've already obviously done in the morning i've done my normal skincare routine i put my makeup on as you can see and now before going into doing my workout i'll take my makeup off i'll cleanse and then i'll put a lightweight moisturizer on so that's all you need um but i'll also talk you through um how to do things for swimming cycling if you're doing something a little bit not so sweaty such as yoga i'll talk you through that as well um i'll first do me and then we can talk a little bit more about this so let's go so as i mentioned i am going to be doing a sweaty exercise um and at home because the gyms are not open at the moment so i will first go in and remove my makeup so this is the body shop caramel gentle eye makeup remover so i have a handy little pad and we'll just splash a little bit of that on here and then I'll just start um, taking my makeup off. I like to do this on my eyebrows as well because, you know, um, my eyebrows are not that far off from your eye and you also need to take the eyebrow makeup off as well. So as you can see, I also have a little bit of um, eyeshadow on, so I'll be taking that off as well. Let me just go on the other side with the eyeshadow. Perfect. And this is so, so gentle. It just melts away makeup. Right, let me just do the, the mascara, sorry. Um, right, here we go. Okay, so, perfect. So that is my eye makeup take off and now I am going to be going in with my cleanser. I'm not going to double cleanse, I'm just going to cleanse um, once. So this is a Nip and Fab Vitamin C Fix Cleanser. I hope you can sort of see that one. Um, this has a really, really lovely smell. Um, so I'm just going to cleanse with this. So I put just one and a half pump on my hand um, and then I just go in with circular motions. This has such a lovely smell you guys. It's like nice and like citrusy obviously as vitamin C should be. Um, it foams up a little bit as you can see um, but it has a lovely smell. Right I'm just going to take this off. Okay, so that is taken off with water so I just if you saw I just kind of padded my face rather than wash it off so cleanser done and then I'm just going to go in with my lightweight moisturizer which is the body shop vitamin c glow boosting moisturizer um, as you can see I've been using like a bit of vitamin c in my routine I don't know I just feel like it brightens right so I just went in with my vitamin C um, moisturizer, just taking it down a little bit on my neck as well. Um, and there you have it. That's me ready for my session. So as promised, I will also talk you through a little bit on the different types of exercise as well. 
Okay, so let's, for example, say that you are a runner. If you run early in the morning and if you live in a cold climate like the UK, I would suggest that you put a little bit of facial oil on your face before going out for your morning run. Or if you live in a warm country where the sun is out when you actually go for a run in the morning, um, you do put on some sun protection, some SPF, um, make sure you have that because that will be really important. And then if you are someone who runs after work, again, uh, take off all your makeup, um, apply a tiny layer of uh, moisturizer, you know, sweat, do your run, go home, do your full skincare routine. So that's for running. And then if you are someone who uh, swims, whether again that is in the swimming pool, um, if you're lucky enough to have one, or if in your country it's not a proper lockdown, or if you have a lake near you, that'd be great. So if, again, if you're um, an early morning swimmer, then get up, wash your face, apply a thin layer of moisturizer, then swim, shower, go home, do your whole routine again. So your morning skincare routine. If you're doing um, swimming after work, then same as above, uh, apply your moisturizer first, take off your, all of your makeup, um, apply a thin layer of sun protective, I would say for swimming, maybe not moisturizer, maybe if you have a facial oil or if you do put moisturizer, then maybe wait a little bit before you actually go into the water. Okay, now on to people who go cycling. So cycling, especially if you do it outside, definitely put SPF on, but everything else is very similar to everything else I've said so far. So if you're doing it in the morning, um, moisturizer and then SPF and then go home and then do your whole skincare routine or if you're doing it in the evening then take off your makeup first and then put a little bit of moisturizer on before cycling and then shower sweat sweat shower and then do your full skincare routine your evening skincare routine so you can see that most of this is very similar to each other so the three tips that I would give you is Remove your makeup before doing any type of exercise, whether that is a really sweaty hit exercise or you're just doing 15 minutes of yoga. Just take the makeup off. You don't want grime in your sweaty skin at all. So take your makeup off. Tip number two, put your moisturizer on. It's going to help you, um, especially in some areas where you're more dry. Definitely try to concentrate more on those areas whether it's actual moisturizer or a little bit of facial oil it doesn't matter just make sure that your skin is moisturized before going into your workout three is when you are applying your moisturizer or your facial oil make sure to put it on your cheeks this is the largest area on your face that bit will sweat so please please protect that part also an extra tip is if you're doing anything outside um, please please protect your face as well put on SPF. Even, I would say, even if you're in the UK, even though you know you can't see UV light, it's still there. So just make sure that your face is protected and you don't get any sun damage. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up and like the video. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a look at all my other videos as well and let me know how you like them. Also leave a comment underneath this video and uh, tell me what kind of exercise you do. If you have any more questions, I'd be very happy to help. But for now, that's it for today and I'll see you guys later. Bye!